Hey. Hey. Oh my gosh. Just beautiful day, huh? As usual. Well, almost. <laughs> oh, hey everybody. Just welcome to Why Wait. And just a beautiful evening here, huh? Yes. The sun's going down, and I'll tell you one thing, if you haven't seen a Texas sunset, you are missing out because I think every evening it's just absolutely wonderful here. Yeah, we, I don't think we've had a bad evening here yet. Oh, which brings us to here is Coastal Breeze RV Resort. And this is where we will be spending our next six months, the winter. And it's where we spent uh, last winter. Last winter. So uh, as far as liking it, I'd say we we enjoy it. Yeah. And we like it a lot. So It's our second winter, but it probably won't be our last winter. This is home for the next six months in Rockport, Texas, Coastal Breeze RV Resort. What are you doing? Mama told you to do that? Too sure if we're snowbirds now officially <laughs> um i don't know if there's an age limit on that but uh we're kind of living that lifestyle maybe huh? we're like snow babies snow babies snow chicks maybe well wait you're yeah, not a chick no but <laughs> anyways uh yep we are down here for six months and coastal breeze rv resort it's about two years old i think now i think it was a this year is old the... when we came down last year yeah, it's yeah. been, this I think is the um, third winter they've had, I believe. And, um, but I think they opened in the, in the summertime, okay. so. So, they do have some construction going on. In fact, they really didn't have much construction going on last year. But uh -huh. this year they seem to have some new owners and um, they're adding a bunch more sites and they're just actually doing a lot more work to the place. Tons of amenities. Yeah. Um, if you want to touch base on some of those. Well, we've got an outstanding pool. Yeah. Well, which you'll you, see. You guys, yeah. Some Check of that the out. Footage. Outstanding pool. Beautiful clubhouse. Mm -hmm. And they have uh, quite a few get togethers chili cook offs, bingo night, game night. They do happy hour. And uh, what's pretty cool is they, uh, they leave it unlocked and open for anybody, anytime anybody wants to come in here and use it for parties, get togethers, or if you just want to. Just come over and use the oven and cook a pizza one night. It's open for anybody to use, and uh, that's pretty nice. Uh, we had a good time here last year with all the get-togethers and meeting everybody. We made real good use of this clubhouse, so it's a real bonus to this campground. Fishing pier behind us, you know, lit up at night. That's the salt, the salt lake that is right at the edge of the campground, and you can uh, fish off the dock. That water leads right out to what is it? Copano? The Co Copano Bay. Copano Bay, right on the back side of the uh, golf here. So, amazing fishing. From what I'm not too much of a fisherman, but uh, I see quite a few pictures of big, just what they're catching the, just off I think the dock called here. Black drum, the big okay. ones, they're pretty yeah. big. Yeah. I catch those pretty often. So, if you're into fishing, uh, Rockport itself is kind of the place to be for that, and the campground itself offers uh, just a good spot for that. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. yeah. And and the cool thing about this place is. Um, there's always something going on. There's an events calendar that they put out every month from morning coffee meetings all the way up to bingos on Wednesday, game night, uh, karaoke. We just did some crafts today. That yeah, crafts for the for kids. For all ages. Um, adults. They have men's meetups, like men lunch outs, women luncheons. They have um, group dinners where we all go out to a restaurant, anybody who's camping here, and we all get together. It's just always something going every Every day we have to check the calendar to see. Uh, We're about to go on a... On a Sunset, a, a cruise sunset cruise on set up Saturday. To, uh, the campground. Mm -hmm. um, another thing that drew us here is um, we found a nice homeschool group for our six-year-old. So, um, and that's you know, 
we go on field trips and do things like that too. So for anyone who is wanting something uh, where there's an active homeschool community. There's a park uh, right down the road, five minutes from This here. is a great Memorial area, Park, yeah. and that's where we great meet park. up uh, every Friday. All the homeschool kids meet up, so you know he gets a social interaction. And uh, that's another reason we came back, so he can kind of see his buddies from last year. Friends. He sees his buddies, we see our buddies. Everybody's happy. Another great thing that we really love here is the dog park for our two little Bostons, huh? Mm -hmm. I think Bailey and Mickey enjoy it, of course. We always take them there to take them off the leash so they can run around and do all that good stuff, and all they do is walk around and pretty much sniff for other dogs. Sniff and pee, and That's yeah. About it. I think they get more exercise on the leash, <laughs> <laughs> leash actually. But it's, it's a really nice dog park. Uh, really friendly to dogs here. They're talking about putting in a playground mm -hmm. in the future, which I think is something that's much needed. I don't know how it is in the summertime here with kids. We don't see too many kids here in the wintertime. There's not too many, but it is a newer park. Yeah. Um, and then when you have most of your people uh, that are snowbirds coming down here, most of them uh, don't have young children. So, yeah. um, but, but it, they are nice. they're family friendly here. They just um, oh for sure. They just are still make you know still building. So. Uh, making you know some of the amenities the i think they're going to build i think they're going to have a second pool is in the world. yeah they're talking about putting up a second pool in they're talking a about putting on um, the cornhole a uh, permanent cornhole spot mm -hmm. and our little guy just likes to run right down to the water there's a actually nice little beach right down there and look at the jellyfish and you can kind of you know the the whole water all the way across there is only what they say like two feet deep and Supposedly. people go out in the kayaks all the time go fishing but it's it's just a nice area just to go out to the beach access right there too we don't no. let him run down there by himself, no, but no. <laughs> um, he just likes to go down there and look along the shore for what kind of treasures he can find. So, and he usually finds some good stuff. Yeah. So. <laughs> And please comment down below if anybody can tell me the name of that bird making that cool noise because we can't figure it out and they're all over this place. They're pretty cool. Uh, one more thing before we go, I uh, wanted to give you guys a heads up. We will be on a podcast, should be this Monday, the RV Advisor podcast. I'll put a link down below if you want to listen to that and check out that show. We actually just were on the show yep, just a few today. hours ago. Yep. So it's our first one. So yeah, maybe kind of it's the first of many. We hope. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was fun. Yep, yeah, we enjoyed it. So, like I said, I'll put a link down to that. This video should be coming out Sunday. So if you're watching this, that should be Monday, November. Dates twentieth. <laughs> that be Monday. Well, it'll be close enough. Yeah. I'll put that 21st, down. Twenty first, I believe. I I'll, think it's the twenty first. Okay, I'll put it down <laughs> on the screen just to make sure. So, but I should have a link for that, and you guys can uh, check that out too. Other than that, I think that's about it, huh? I think so. Okay. Well, as usual, uh, hope you guys liked the video. If you did, you know the drill. Hit the subscribe button. Keep watching. And we'll keep trying to put out some uh, good content for you and some new videos every Sunday. And as always, why wait? <laughs> See you guys.